हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू इंग्लिश क्लास डियर स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ न्यू चैप्टर फ्रॉम द सप्लीमेंट्री बुक इट्स हैपन एंड नेम ऑफ द चैप्टर इज द ट्रेजर विद इन सो ओपन द बुक्स पेज नंबर ट्वेंटी फाइव एंड इफ आई टॉक अबाउट दिस चैप्टर दिस लेसन इज एन इंटरव्यू ओके बेस्ड ऑन अ कन्वर्सेशन बिटवीन मिसिज बेला राजा एंड मिस्टर हफीज कॉन्ट्रैक्टर वन ऑफ इंडिया लीडिंग आर्किटेक्ट्स एंड दिस लेसन द ट्रेजर विद इन इज बेस्ड ऑन अ कन्वर्सेशन इफ आई टॉक अबाउट मिसिज बेला राजा देन शी इज द एडिटर ऑफ स्पर्श अ न्यूज लेटर फ्रॉम द रिसोर्स सेंटर द वेली स्कूल बेंगलोर एंड एज आई टोल्ड यू मिस्टर हफीज कॉन्ट्रैक्टर वन ऑफ इंडिया लीडिंग आर्किटेक्ट and the uh, in conversation makes us realize the importance of being active in extracurricular activities in school and how the time spent in school builds the foundation of one's career okay and uh, again the interview focus and what is the main theme of the interview between hafiz contractor and uh, the author author is bela raza the interview focuses on the school time events of hafiz and how his particular interest in architecture made him a leading architect of india okay so after reading the chapter you we can get the conclusion that the importance of extra curricular activity in school and yes how the time spent in school builds the foundation of one's career so let's begin the chapter chapter number 4 the treasure within and there is some introduction is given as we have read already so there is no need to uh, read again but in number 1 uh, some key points are given which we are going to read in the part 1 of the chapter like hafiz contractor was an unhappy school boy he loved doing things but detested mechanical learning mathematics gave him shivers and what is principal one said to him influenced him deeply so in our today's part part 1 of the chapter we are going to read these points here hc means hafiz contractor and br means bela raja okay so what the hc says i used to have this terrible nightmare only now over the last 4 to 5 years it seems to have disappeared okay so what is nightmare nightmare means haunting fear frightening dreams okay so in this line this um, this is the beginning of the interview and one of india's leading architect hafiz contractor begins by sharing how he used to have these frightening nightmares frightening dreams that have now seem to have gone away in the past 4 to 5 years in last 4 four to 5 years it now has gone but yet before that he has uh, he had very frightening nightmares what nightmare are you talking about and why do you think it has disappeared now so obviously the she asked a question mrs bela raja asks hafiz to tell her more about the nightmare and the reason behind its disappearance okay so let us tell about the nightmare and now tell the reason behind its disappearance then what he says i used to get continuous nightmares about appearing for a maths examination where i didn't know anything now the psych must have gotten over it i don't have to think about education and there is absolutely no time to get nightmares my god so here is the word psyche which means mind or mentality okay so on being asked her fees revealed as he has she has asked about the nightmare and the reason of disappearance then Hafiz revealed that he used to have bad dreams about giving the maths exams where he didn't know a single thing about it he feels it has faded away now because his mind must have moved on and made peace with it he further elaborates that now he doesn't have to think about education or even studying okay so moreover he is so busy that he doesn't even have the time to see nightmares 
okay now it is not the time of the education and now there is uh, no need to learn the formula there is no need to uh, write down the answers there is no need uh, to solve the questions okay and uh, no exams fear is here so he is saying as uh, there is no need to think about the education and yes or even studies so he is so busy that he doesn't even have time to see that nightmare okay next then she say ask tell us something about your earliest memories in school okay so now she was asking she asked uh, about his memories of school when it began okay now uh, bela jo uh, the person who is taking interview she talks to uh, hafiz and asked uh, to tell about his memories of school when it began now what he added in the first and second year i was a good student after i reached the third standard i simply lost interest and i never studied so what he said that hafiz tells bela that he was an obedient and bright student and when he was in first and second standard okay so in first and second he was very nice he talks about how he lost all interest and stopped studying once he got promoted to the third standard as he entered into the third standard he lost all the interest into the studies i used to be interested in games running around playing jokes and pranks on others i would copy in class during exam times i would try to get hold of the examination paper that had been prepared and study it as i couldn't remember things that i had been taught to me in the class so he said that he told bela how he would cheat in his exams okay all he used to like was games running here and there cracking jokes and playing pranks on others means all mischievous things were liked by hafiz contractor as he entered into the third standard he told bela how he would cheat in his exams he would copy in exams so he was telling like he used to cheat in exams he used to try to get his hands on the final question paper and he only studied that much because no matter how much he tried he couldn't retain anything that was taught to him in the class means his uh, memory uh, was completely lost and uh, he can't remain any subject things or material into his mind regarding exams and subjects okay so he always used to just prepare for the examination paper only however later one sentence spoken to me by a principal changed my life so he said how he has changed his life when i approached my 11th standard the principal called me and said look here son i have been seeing you from day 1 you are a good student but you never studied i have taken care of you till today now i can no longer take care of you so you do it yourself so hafiz expresses how a conversation with his principal transformed his life it was when he got promoted to 11th standard okay so till 10th standard he was very mischievous child he there was no interest in studies okay as he approached to 11th standard what happened his principal summoned him his principal called him and told him how he had been keeping an eye on hafiz since the beginning means principal was taking care of hafiz since beginning since day 1 and the principal said that he could no longer look after him and he will have to do it for himself from the moment onwards okay so principal was saying that i had taken care of your you from the day 1 but now a uh, uh, further in future from that moment i will not be able to take care of you so you have to take care of your self only okay dear students i am reading on page number 26 so please uh, look at your books and listen to me carefully so what he said he talked to me for 5 minutes you don't have your father your mother has worked so hard to bring you up and paid all your fees all these years but you have only played games now you should rise to the occasion and study so here is the life of hafiz 
the principal spoke to her face for about 5 minutes okay 5 minutes conversation were there he told her face that he had been unfortunate to not have his father with him okay so he was the fatherless child and but his mother had worked really hard to raise him and pay for his fees so uh, his mother used to do work hard so that she could pay fees of her fees contractor and all her fees did was play games but yes he was not studying he was just playing games and he has just wasted them time and all her fees did was play games the principal advised him to rise to the occasion and concentrate on his studies so rise on to the occasion means ki the condition the situations in which you are now just rise from there okay so leave all the things behind and just move forward and do studies only i used to be a very good sportsman i had been the senior champion for so many years and i also was the cricket captain i used to play every game but that year i didn't step out onto the field so how the things has been changed into his life hafiz added that uh, he had been an excellent sportsman okay not only this he had been the senior champion for a number of years okay and yes he was also the captain of cricket team so he was telling something about the sports career like he was very good sportsman he was the champion and yes he was the captain also and uh, he revealed how he used to play every game but that particular year in 11th standard when principal spoke to him he didn't even step out into the field okay so he didn't go there and i would go for prayers and all i would do was eat and study i normally used to copy and pass but i realized that once i was in ssc i could not do that so senior secondary okay so secondary school certificate so ssc he has to clear himself so what happened then instead he went for prayers he didn't step out for field on that particular year but where he went he went for prayers and concentrated on studying only all he did was eat and study he was eat and study and normally he used to copy and pass his exams till 10th standard but he realized that once he was in ssc it was not longer possible so it will not be uh, possible for him that without uh, learning or without studying he could pass the examination so when i got a second class 50% in my ssc my principal said son consider yourself as having got a distinction this is my memory of my school days so uh, with these uh, points he was saying that as uh, he passed the examination with second class means 50% till 60% you can get a uh, uh below 60% it was second class and above 60 it's first class okay and yes now uh, in today's time it is 90s and 80s and more than expectations okay so he said that uh he got distinction okay as his principal was saying as a result of his hard work the contractor got 50% in ssc the principal was delighted he was very happy and even remarked that hafiz had an excellence yet he got 50% but as yes it was because of his hard work only not cheated not copied from anywhere so the principal said that you just think about like you have remarked and you have earned excellence okay so uh, what happened next and uh, consider yourself as i'm getting a distinction this is my memory of my school days so he said that that's all for my school days next i did lots of other things see as far as my things are concerned i can't remember i forgot things very easily to remember i have to see things as a photograph i read a book and i can remember the matter as a photograph and not for thro- uh, through my mind that is how it works so now he is telling something about his memory power and he was saying 
and further tells miss bila that he was involved in a lot of other things as well it was difficult for him to memorize the text in his course material as he would forget them very easily okay as we are reading the chapter there are many words are there in question and answers there are many words are here so he said that it was very difficult for him to memorize the text of his course material and what he did in order to be able to keep things in his mind he saw them as the photograph he saw them as the picture and he would read a book and remember it in the form of photographs and but not through his mind so that is how it worked for him so dear students everyone has its own potential and everyone has its own quality to memorize the things sometimes what happen if we are learning something and we have a picture then we can uh, memorize we can retain in our mind with the help of that picture only so pictures retain for a long time rather than the text so in the same way uh, hafiz was saying that he used to keep all the things in his mind with the help of the photograph not with the help of the text so now uh, on page number 27 at the beginning when uh, bela asked uh, when you were in school and you were doing uh, when you were in school and you were doing badly did the teachers pull you up and how did you feel wow what he was asking pull you up means rim, rim, uh, scold someone okay so what she said uh, miss bela asked to hafiz if he ever got scolded in school for performing poorly in academics and how did he feel when that happened he was she was asking about the punishments okay so what uh, he added i never felt anything on being pulled up i used to be so interested in playing i would receive a caning every year okay caning means punishment so what he said i never felt anything on being pulled up so he was saying upon being asked hafiz told miss bela that he had never felt anything on being scolded all he had on his mind was playing and he was only interested in that even if he received punishment every week okay so he was receiving punishment but he was very delighted because he was thinking about the games only then next she ask uh, when you knew that you had incurred the wrath of your teacher by not doing your homework or by behaving badly when you knew you would get a caning what was the state of your mind okay so what she asked when uh, she asked about uh, how he felt or what thoughts used to come to his mind when he was well aware in advance that he has made his teacher angry by not finishing his home assignment or by not conducting himself properly obviously if any student makes any kind of mistake then he knows very well that because of this or i have not done homework because of this things i am going to getting punishment i am going to be punished by my teacher okay so in this case same things has been asked by bela and she was asking like if uh, how he felt or what thought used to come to his mind when he was well aware in advance he was well known to in advance that he has made his teacher angry by not finishing his assignment and by not uh, by behaving not uh, properly so basically she asked him about his state of mind when he knew in advance that he would be scolded or punished means what thoughts came to his mind when he in advance knew that he is going to be punished so what he said state of mind just lift up the hand and they would cane you it would hurt badly and then i would have to forget about it because i would want to go and play okay so what he said he answers that the need to be prepared or the mind state did not matter at that time as all they needed to was raise their hands upon being asked about the delay in homework or being the one responsible for poor behavior only this much was enough and they would punish or scold you okay so just stand up and he said that it used to affect him at that particular moment but when he could easily forget about it as he knew he could play later okay so because only play games was going into his mind so he was not taking seriously to the punishment it was very easy for him to get punishment and just be punished only okay you never felt insecure or threatened 
so bela asked him if he ever felt vulnerable or anxious insecure anxious when he knew he was about to be scolded or punished means when uh, when uh, have you ever felt that kind of feeling means anxiousness or uh, very threatening feeling like uh, you are going to be punished i was just interested in playing and nothing else i was most interested in funny pranks one day i didn't want to study so i created a distraction for one whole hour we played chore police wow so i think many students among you are like this only okay so distraction means something amusing and pleasurable chore police children's game in which one uh, child hides and other try to find him so he told her that he never paid that much attention to that fact that he was about to face consequences for his action as his mind was more engrossed in funny pranks he, uh, his mind was filled with many kind of funny pranks mischievous things he was just interested in playing okay he wanted to play only so what happened he told how once he was not in the mood to study so he created a diversion and for one complete hour they played chor police for one hour because they didn't want to do study so they played chor police every saturday we were allowed to go into town to see a movie so what i would do was have no lunch and collect money from 40 to 50 students and run and buy the tickets on my way back i would eat to my heart's content heart's content means eat as much as i wanted eat my fill so what he said he further mentions sorry he mentioned how they were permitted to watch a movie in town every saturday every saturday was fixed for movie so he would skip his lunch and would take money from 40 to 50 students to go and buy tickets he would eat till he was satisfied on his way back okay so he was just uh, filled himself with satisfaction i used to be the leader of a gang we would have gang fights and planned strategies these things used to interest me more than any academics so what he said he further mentions about being a leader of his gang and you know very well what is the meaning of gang and when we use this word and how they would have gang fights where they built strategies to win gang fights fights between two groups and they had just built strategies for this and he was interested in these things way more than academics or more than studies these things attracted him students used to look my textbook for the following year because they were almost brand new i probably opened them one day before exams students used to talk to him in advance about taking his books because they were extremely new even at the end of the academic year and the reason was he would only use them at day prior to the exams for the whole year he never opened the book he just opened the book prior on one day before the exam so these books were in really in a good condition in a brand new condition so also so what happened all the students the of the following classes wanted to take his books so dear students i hope you all have enjoyed this part of the chapter so see you soon with the next part